I want to speak to you about something that I believe affects all of us at some point in our lives, feeling stuck in our waiting season. As Christians, we know that waiting is a part of life, but it can be frustrating and discouraging when it seems like nothing is happening. But I want to encourage you today with some biblical truths about how to navigate through these waiting seasons. 1. Remember that God is in control when we're feeling stuck. It's easy to get anxious and try to take matters into our own hands. But as Christians, we must remember that God is in control of our lives. Proverbs 16 to 9 says, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. We may not understand why we're waiting, but we must trust that God has a plan for our lives and that He is working things out for our good. 2. Take comfort in God's promises. During waiting seasons, we can feel like God has forgotten about us. But we must remember that God's promises never fail. In Isaiah 40 to 31, it says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. We must hold on to the promises of God and trust that He will fulfill them in His perfect timing. 3. Use your waiting season as an opportunity for growth. Instead of seeing waiting seasons as a negative thing, we should view them as an opportunity for growth. In James 1 to 4, it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. We must allow waiting seasons to produce perseverance in us and grow us into the person God wants us to be. In conclusion, as Christians, we must remember that God is in control, take comfort in His promises, and use our waiting seasons as an opportunity for growth. We must trust that God has a plan for our lives, even when we can't see it, and we must hold on to the hope that He will fulfill His promises to us.